Hi YouTube, I'm Mimi, and this is my first video. Um, for a little over two years now, I've been a very prominent wallflower in the YouTube weight loss and weight loss surgery community. Um, and there's so many, so many amazing people on here with with really relatable stories and um, lots of encouragement and support and knowledge. Um, just It's an amazing collective. And um, I always kind of told myself that when the time came for me to embark on my own weight loss journey, um, I thought it would be cool to create my own channel um, and maybe even give back like this much um, of what I've gained here. Um, so a little bit of background, <laughs> I'm 29, um, and I I had some New Year's resolutions. <laughs> so in December of last year, um, I was at Taurus trying on dresses for a company party, um, and I realized that I'd upgraded from a size 24 to a 28, and um, I know that... Uh, they're bigger and they're smaller, um, but it was just kind of a turning point moment for me. Um, how I bypassed 26, or I blame that on yoga pants. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, I just I had kind of a life moment, um, a real crying in the dressing room moment. Um, last year I was divorced, uh, which is it was a positive thing. Um, but it's been me and my two kids. I have a seven-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter, um, and two cats. And, um, it's just, I think that, I think that the loneliness and, and everything that had gone on combined with, with realizing that in spite of all the talk and all the thought about losing weight, I was just going in the opposite direction. Um, I had kind of a meltdown. And... I decided that I could either, I turned 30 this year, so I decided I would either turn 30 in a size 30 um, and continue with that, with the lost sense of self-worth and the sort of isolated sadness that I think we all go through, or, you know, insert your cliches here, um, I we take hold of my life. And um, one of the ways that I need to do that is to deal with um, my weight and my very unhealthy relationship with food. Uh, so in January, I contacted Anthem Blue Cross, which is my medical insurer, and uh, I talked to them about whether you know they were they were offering coverage for weight loss surgery, um, and. I had to I had to meet a minimum like an eligible BMI, which I do, <laughs> and uh, I had to meet with a nutritionist um, and meet with a surgeon, and I had to complete a psychological evaluation. So all of it was good. Uh, the nutritionist, surprisingly, um, I've heard people joke about how no one knows more about nutrition and dieting than a fat person because we've kind of read all about it, um, and I think that's true, and there wasn't really any new information, but there was new perspective, and that was good, and um, the psych evaluation really scared me. Um, I've been an antidepressant since I was like 18, and uh, just, I was, I was so nervous, and when I got in there, the first two hours were like an emotional SAT. It was like a little dot, a bubble test where you fill in the little circles, um, and some of the questions were actually scary to answer. I was afraid someone was going to blow up at me because they asked in in multitude of ways, you know, are you depressed? Do you feel bad about yourself? Do you feel like your life is as happy as you want it to be? And I'm just answering these questions, you know, how do you feel when you get out of bed in the morning? And I'm just going, I weigh 342 pounds. I'm not that awesome. Um, so... It was cool, and ultimately when I finally, at the end of that, I spent about 10 minutes with the doctor, and um, he seemed more interested in just making sure I understood the risk involved in surgery, and I do, um, but I also understand the risk in being less overweight. Um, so, 
here we are uh, on February 19th. I got my letter of medical necessity um, from Dr. Rogers McKinley and uh, on March 25th, 11 days, uh, and I'll be enough, my wedding anniversary, um, I'm starting another life in a different way. Um, and I am getting the duodenal switch. Um, <coughs> it's kind of it's kind of underrepresented on YouTube. I feel like there's a lot of gastric bypass ruin why and a lot of lap band and a lot of vertical sleeve gastrectomy, but there's you know, there's some amazing people on here who have had the DS but I'm I'm still a little nervous. I kinda wish there was more. So that's another reason I felt compelled to create the channel. Um I'm scared. Uh on January 23rd, I had an emergency and got my gallbladder taken out by the same surgeon who will be doing my surgery. So that was kind of neat. I got like a trial run. Um, and he's, he's amazing. And I'm super impressed with my scars. They're so little. Um, it was my first time under general anesthesia. And I'm actually glad it happened because even considering um, the weight loss surgery, that was something I was really scared about. Uh, so, yeah, so that's me for right now, and I'm sure there will be a lot more. Um, one of my, one of my biggest tragedies is when I fall in love with somebody's YouTube videos, and, and I gain a lot, and I'm, I'm so curious, you know, it's like reading a good book about what happened next, and where are they, and sometimes they kind of drop off for a little while. I understand it. We all have busy lives, so I like to think it's because they're, they're doing amazing things, you know, with their new life and their new sense of self. Um, but for right now, I want to try and keep a pretty, a pretty honest and true log of what's happening, what's going on. Um, I'm actually also starting a blog, um, and that's more, I think, for personal accountability, um, just so that I can kind of keep on myself about, about everything that I'm trying to do. So, uh, there it is, video number one. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I know it's been awkward, and this is definitely a rookie video, um, but stay tuned, I think. Uh, I think this is going to be good, um, and if any of you can point me in the direction of your own videos, your own experience, anything you want to share, I'd love that. Um, other than that, I, uh, I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.